Hello people, welcome once again to Spicy Talk with Omania. It's me again, your love doctor, coming here with another interesting topic that will help you in your relationship and in your marital journey. Do me that favor, after this video, like and subscribe to this. Welcome once again. If you are just joining us, it's a pleasure to have you on this channel. And for you, my returning subscriber, I thank you all for always finding time to be with me on Spicy Talk with Omadia. Today's topic is, is love enough to sustain your marriage? Is love enough? We've heard people say love conquers all, love is all that matters, love is this, love is that. But the truth is, let's ask ourselves again, is love truly enough to hold that marriage some couples going through divorce once loved each other i mean they were once head over heels in love with one another those fighting killing and disgracing themselves humiliating themselves both in and out of the street once we are mad lovers i mean love brides even those going for cancel or undergoing counseling right now once loved each other and in fact ask them do you still love him you're gonna hear the woman say yes i love him i love i love him with the whole of my heart but man i can't i can't deal with this attitude of his i can't ask the man do you love her yes i love her but man no 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 no, no. i can't deal with it she's she's turned into some i still love her i still love her but man, maybe I, I wish her love with another guy i can't deal with it now if people who were once in love can say they can no longer live under the same roof, what does that tell you? It tells you that love can fade away. Love can die. Love is good, no doubt. But love alone is not enough to sustain a marriage. Marriage is a journey. It's an unending journey. There are others you need to sustain marriage, other formulas, and that is the formula I want to bring to you today on this topic. Have you ever wondered why our parents, I mean our forefathers, I'm not even talking about our parents today. Let's talk about our forefathers, why their marriages seem to last longer and they are more peaceful, even when some of them marry one, two, three wives, have lots of children. It is because they never based their marriage on love alone. They based it on other formula. They made sure love is not the motive behind them getting married. They seek for other things. That is wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Which brings me to Proverbs 24, 3 to 4. It says, By wisdom, a home is built. By understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. What does that tell you? God has given us the formula we need to build a solid foundation, to establish that solid foundation in our home. He has given us this, this formula from time. But you see, sometimes we forget and we seek these things outside, forgetting the basic which God has given to us. You know, years ago, while growing up as a young lady, I can, let me see, I think I was between the age of 10, 12, uh, maybe up till 14. Yeah, there's this um, beautiful craft work hung in our sitting room with this right up. By wisdom, a home is built. By understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all pleasant and precious riches. But you see, as a child then, I never understood this write-up. I never even thought about it. I just saw it as something beautiful hanging in the sitting room. I never knew my parents knew what they were hanging there. I mean, I was just a child, knowing nothing about love. And then I remember back then, I made, I, 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 I made a song out of this unconsciously because i see this all the time and i just love it now this is a song by wisdom our home is built by understanding it is established by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and 
pleasant riches. You know, I sing this song as a very young girl. This is like um, between 28 and 30 years ago. It stayed there in my memory. Now, what I work on this and what prompted me to bring up this topic today? I was having a, a conversation recently with my husband and then somehow we we're going through a write-up or reading yeah, on the, on the system and he read it out. And then I was like, oh my God, you know, it's as if I've never seen that place before. I have been reading through it unconsciously, but at that point in time, everything came flooding in. Oh, my parents knew what they were doing. They kept this to always remind them the formula they need for a solid marriage. For, for for that relationship. Yes, I'll tell you, my dad is a lover boy. My dad is, my mom is a village girl. <laughs> yes, she is. I mean, she's not that school, but my dad is cool. So I don't think it's because of the school, but like he's a lover boy. He knows how to love my mom. And back then when we were quite young, I used to like wonder, why does my dad do this? You see my dad come and lay down and put his head on my mom's laps. And my mom would just be touching his head. Does this public display of affection even at, I know, even far back as then. You know, they don't call themselves by their names. My dad has a pet name he calls my mom. My mom calls him the pet name too. You see, when they're going to take their bath, my mom, you know, my dad picks the, 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 the bucket of water because it was in a compound, there was no shower. My dad carries the water to the bathroom while my mom tag along and they bath together for as long as I know. I never knew that these people were building their marriage. I never knew. I just feel, oh, my dad is just mm, a lover boy. But you see, that's wisdom. That brings us to what wisdom is. What is wisdom that the Bible talked about? Wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge effectively. Wisdom is the principal thing. That's what the Bible said. It said in all, get wisdom. Solomon seeked for wisdom and God gave him wisdom. What does that tell you? Wisdom is what allows you to apply what you have learned, which is knowledge, effectively. You know about love, but do you apply the love? How do you apply the love? It is with wisdom. You apply the love with wisdom. Wisdom is very important. It's the most important thing we all need because we need wisdom in every area of our lives, in every aspect of our lives, in our financial life, in our love life, in our relationship. Everything we need wisdom in our career and in our, in, in, in our job. Wisdom is the ability to apply whatever you have learned effectively. That is to say, wisdom enables you to love your wife the proper way. To respect your husband the proper way. To submit without stress. That is wisdom. Wisdom gives you that ability to do things the right way and effectively. Wisdom is knowing what to say and when to say that at the right time. For a woman, for instance, your husband gets back from work, tired, feeling stressed, but he got back late. Wisdom allows you as a woman to know when to, what to say to him at that time. Even if you have been waiting for him to return and the food is cold. Even if you have been angry and murmuring before his arrival. Wisdom gives you that ability to, to say the right thing. And if there's nothing to say at that time, you, you know, wisdom allows you to, you know, to fashion out the right time to question why he's coming back at that play time. That is wisdom to know what to say to him because you don't know what you might say at that point in time that will trigger quarrel and misunderstanding. And what happens? You fight and you go to sleep without settling. Yes, you are hot, but wisdom allows you to say the right thing. At the right time and for the man wisdom gives you that ability to know how to love your wife for instance when you offend your wife when you hurt your wife you don't just go out to buy her a beautiful dress because you love her and you just inscribe on it you just make a note i love you love is not enough she is hurting you offended her you know you hurt her feelings 
wisdom gives you the ability to know that you ought to write i am sorry for hurting you i am sorry for doing this please forgive me my darling wife i love you let love be at the tail end not at the beginning let love be at the tail end i am sorry forgive me i love you by the time she reads the apology and then she looks at it yes he loves me that is why he's doing this wisdom allows you to submit to your husband without complaint without nagging wisdom allows you to know when to argue and when to keep quiet even when you are to argue you argue with wisdom you don't just talk uncontrollably you know you don't you just you don't just speak wisdom allows you as a man to manage your finances in the home properly and wisdom allows you as a woman to know where, what to demand for and what are flimsy what you don't really need to accept what the head of the house has provided if you need more wisdom allows you to know when to ask for that and with wisdom you don't ask for what is beyond your means that is wisdom not love the bible did not say by love by emotion or by love making by wisdom a home is built this helps to build the foundation of your home you need wisdom ask for wisdom pray for wisdom wisdom takes away quarrel on ending malice in the house fighting because you apply wisdom before you speak you think before you speak you think about your actions you don't just go all out doing things without thinking you seek your wife um opinion on issues you don't just go about doing your things and then later you tell her you tell your husband before you do something before you carry out any other that is wisdom it may be your money as a woman but wisdom allows you to share that with your husband these are the foundations that keeps marriage that upholds marriage and that solidifies marriage our parents knew this you hardly back in you know back in those days if you can ask any elderly one they will tell you that it's wisdom it's not easy staying with one wife not to talk of two wives or three wives but they applied wisdom they know their place wisdom enabled them to know their place as the head of their home as the head of the home so we need wisdom which is the first thing and the second one is understanding what is understanding understanding is the ability to comprehend and to assimilate what love is to your partner what does love mean to your wife what does love mean to your husband for instance you know yes you want to love your wife but how do you go about loving her you love your husband how do you express that love to your husband love it will shock you means different thing to a man and to a woman for the man love means respect and total submission respect and total submission that is why the bible said wives submit the bible did not say wife love your husband and he said to the man love your wife so how do you love your wife you need to understand what love is to her does buying stuff for her means love to her does being um affectionate means love to her love to a woman means affection be affectionate to a woman in order to express your love to her it means holding her it means looking into her eyes and telling her those sweet words it could mean buying her gifts it could mean you know you just have to express it be affectionate be compassionate be kind be sweet but to the man love to him is total respect and submission it is you as a woman knowing when to speak to your husband when you're in a public place and he's wrong or something is going on there you don't put your husband down openly that is love to him love to him is when you're 
both having an argument at home and the children are watching you now understand that oh i need to respect his person as the head of the house his position as the man of the house and you say sweetheart can we go to the room and then you go to the room and you sort out your issues without the children hearing you without the children you know getting to hear or know that you are having a fight that is love to the man your ability to respect him and submit without stress without questioning too much that is love to a man when you respect a man you are loving him you are loving him the godly way that doesn't mean you cannot tell your husband you love him you can tell your husband you love him but what love means to him is you respecting his position he is your lord he is your covering he is your husband he is your master he is everything to you understanding your place as a wife as a mother that is love to him and to the man understanding your role as the head of the house not as a bully don't let your ego you know your ego you know take the best side of you you want to love her, be affectionate. You want to correct her, you know, correct her with love, with affection. You don't chastise her in public. You don't put her down in public. You don't hurt her feelings. You don't pull her esteem down. That is love. So, understanding what love means to your partner will help you, you know, uh, 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 love effectively. Apply it effectively. Understanding. Understanding is very key. It's not enough to say you love your partner, you love your spouse, you love your, but you don't know how to express it. Seek for understanding. Take out time to study your partner. Know what goes and what doesn't go before you do this little illustration. You have a beautiful car, a very lovely car. Can you tell, you love the car. Can you tell the car you love it? Oh, I love this car. This car is beautiful. I love this car. When you tell the car you love it, does the car move? I love you. And then you start the car without fuel, without petrol, without diesel. The car will not move. The car will never move with love. You love the car quite all right. Yes, the car is beautiful and you love it. I love that Bugatti. I love that car. I love that Benz. But can love move that car from point A to point B? No. What that car needs is fuel. That is understanding what the car needs. When you give the car what it needs, it will move. Likewise, your marriage. You need to give your marriage what it requires to move forward. Not love. Love is one. It's one. Love alone cannot move your relationship. Love alone cannot sustain your marriage. Despite being important. But it's not enough. Love only colors the whole thing. It makes it beautiful. But what solidifies that foundation? Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Now, which takes us to the third point, which is knowledge. Knowledge about your husband knowledge about your wife how much do you know about your husband how much do you know about your wife knowledge is the ability to know what makes your wife happy what brings peace to the home knowledge how to handle situations how to handle circumstances beyond your control you need to seek knowledge knowledge through the word of god knowledge through wise elders not studying Knowledge through studying, research, speaking to the right people. You need knowledge to be able to handle issues in your marriage. Without knowledge, you will get the wrong information. You need the right information. Either through your parents, if you know the relationship between your father and your mother is stable and their marriage is worth emulating, when you have some situations beyond your control, you can seek knowledge. You can ask them questions through wise elders. Through studying the word of God is the basic foundation we need. 
Everything we need to run our marriage, everything we need to establish a solid foundation is there in the word of God. Taking time to study, you are seeking knowledge, reading, reading the right books by good authors. Authors who fear the Lord, who you know they equally have stable, stable marriage. Don't go and seek knowledge from angry people, people who have no value for marriage, people who help you to keep eyes out of the house, that coldness out of the house because you learn how to spice up your marriage. You learn how to get the home, the, 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 the rooms warm. You learn how to, how to keep the, the house lively, filled with joy, happiness, laughter. Because you are seeking knowledge on how to please your wife, on how to make your husband happy, on how to please him, on how to respect him, on how to submit without complaint. Knowledge. With that knowledge, you, you, you study on different things you ought to do as a woman to keep the, 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 the fire burning. To keep the fire between you burning. Learning how to cook the right food that pleases him. The food that after eating, he will bless you. Because you seek the knowledge, you seek to learn how to please him. You seek to learn how to please him. How you, you, you know what makes him happy. You know what turns him around. You know what turns him or You know what pleases him. You seek it and you apply it. That is knowledge. Not just love. You cannot sing I love you, I love you 247 in the house and it works. No. You need to spice up the, your lives. You need to spice up the marriage. And by doing that, you need to seek knowledge. And for the man, knowledge enables you love your wife because you, you, you need to search for information on how to make your wife happy. How many of you men have actually went, you know, gone out one day, sit down and just go, go, how do I love my wife? How do I surprise my wife? How do I make her happy? How do I do this? Like, have you searched for, have you even gone through the Bible, which is a solid foundation we have, to seek what Solomon, the wise man, has said concerning you loving your wife, how to love your wife? Have you gone out to pick books, romantic books, to learn words, sweet words you can say to her that will turn her head, that will make her love you, you know, that will make her feel like 16 again? Knowledge. Knowledge. Pick books. Look for good books that will help you. You need to make her feel 16 every day. Look for other things that will help you perform well in the other room. Knowledge. When you are getting weak, the room is getting cold. You need knowledge to fire it up. Knowledge. As a woman, you try, you, you seek knowledge, you seek to know those things you need to do that will, you know, get the fire burning, that will make him desire you the more, that will make you want, that will, that will make him want you all the time. They are out there, seek it. And these are the things that make the house so lively, so beautiful, you know, and so homely for the man. Whenever he's coming back home, he's happy coming back home. A lot of men don't like coming back home. A lot of men prefer to sit out after work because the house is too cold for them. It's either too cold or it's hot the wrong way. After work, he sit back with friends, drinking, and then wait, check this time till, till it's 11 or 12, and then he start coming back home, you know, to ensure that you're already sleeping. You need wisdom, you need knowledge, you need understanding. This will help you. It will help you. So that your husband can come back home all the time, feeling happy. He's looking forward to closing from work and coming back to meet you and the children. When you apply this as a man, your wife will not be frightened at the car horn. At the moment she hears you, you know, hears the children say, Mommy, daddy's back, your heart begins to beat. Your heart begins to beat. You, are, you become unhappy suddenly. You are afraid because you know the next thing will be argument and then fight. Now, seek wisdom, understanding, and have the knowledge of each other. That will help you to have that cordial relationship and a solid foundation with your partner. Once again, I sing this. By wisdom, a hope is built. By understanding, it is established. 
by knowledge. The rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. It's not by the amount of money you have in your bank account. It's not by how big and beautiful the house look. It's not by how wide the bedrooms are. It is by wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and the fear of God. I'll see you next time on another video, Spicy Talk with Omadia. I look forward to seeing you. Remember, I am your love doctor. For now, I say bye-bye. Thank you.